That boy's relationship with his father is even worse than you imagine. This helps us out. The stronger the issues, the more powerful the catharsis. How are you going to reconcile them if they're so strange? Well, I'm working on that, aren't I? Move fast. Uh, Killian and Tom, first of all, how do your characters fit into the plot? Well, I play one of the uh, one of the heist uh, members, like one of the gang of, uh, of criminals. My role is to be a shape-shifting sort of forger type who, uh, you know, manipulates him by taking on and adopting personalities of his psyche. Uh, and and you play uh, Robert Fisher, who is uh, the the son of a very successful businessman mm -hmm. uh, who becomes invaded uh, by these guys. His mm -hmm. dreams become invaded by these guys, but he does have a rather nifty mind army. Defending his mind. Oh, yeah, that's right, he does, yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think you'd have a good mind army? Yeah, my mind <laughs> army, they wouldn't be great. It'd be like water balloons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The money get out, get out. <laughs> <out. laughs> <laughs> you guys, I mean, you have uh, quite a bit of action, quite a lot of sort of extreme conditions, but also you get the occasional... <laughs> we, uh, yes, yeah, we did. It was loafing for me, professional loafing, cardigans <laughs> and slippers hanging out for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah what did you do at work today? J just slept. Uh, literally just slept. And Killian had a bag on his head, so some of the times he didn't that's, have to even be there. Yeah. Did only. That's a tradition now, yeah. Um, have you started to think more about your own dreams, having done this film? N no. No. No, I did have a, a rather, yeah, a delicious dream about Helen Mirren this morning. Ah, oh, no. She is a fox. <laughs> yes, clearly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, that came out of left field. Yeah, yourself, Kelly? Did, Did I, I dream about Helen Mirren? Mirren? Yeah. Recently? I can't remember that one. But I think Chris is, you know, he has this power Lucid. to, like, dream lucidly, and which involves dreaming and then being able to control the dream. Like, being aware that you're dreaming, but still being awake enough to actually manipulate it. So that's quite a feat, I think. That's being really clever, isn't it? Can well, he is really godly, clever, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. a god in his own mind. <laughs> yeah. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling.